Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today we are having a live sale video. We tried this last week and it went pretty well. There are a few hiccups getting started, but thank you. Thankfully, the fantastic Mary Lucas was in the chat to help. And you guys all help pull it out for me. Um, and yeah, so I appreciate it. So I've got lots of different things today. And I do have a few things from last week. I had a couple buyers that uh, never contact me and didn't pay. So I have those items again because I know some of them were, <clears throat> pardon me, were items that had lots of people trying to get them. And so it worked out because some of them will come up again. So yeah, um, hi everybody. I'm so glad that you're here. If you're new, welcome. This is going to be a video where I'm selling things. So if you're interested in other kinds of videos, then just hang tight or go check my channel for all of the, I don't know, 3000 videos I've got over there. Um, just about everything you could possibly want. Okay, um, and I did want to say also that um, I added onto my Patreon. I did it this, I put it on my Patreon and I'm gonna have a question about that, what is Patreon? Patreon is a site where you can go and support creators um, or anyway, it's a place where I was able to uh, put a join button for the channel and if you weren't comfortable joining the channel here on YouTube, because you can join the channel and get perks. And so I put a few of the levels over there, but then I did also add, um, if you scroll down, and I think I linked it down below. If not, I'll have to do that. If you scroll down, you'll see where it says see all eight levels. I've added uh, subscription boxes. So I'm gonna start doing subscription boxes, and I changed one of the prices from my initial, what I originally had. So basically what that is, it's like a any kind of subscription box where once a month, you know, your account gets charged, cancel anytime, you know, and then depending on which box you choose, you'll get jewelry and it'll be wearable, sellable jewelry, not craft a lot stuff. It'll be, it'll be stuff, good stuff. <laughs> so if you're interested, I put that over there. I used the Patreon platform because it was just easier for me to set, set it up that way. I was going to do it through my website and I was like, oh, it's going to take me so much time to figure it all out. That way also you might be more comfortable because if it's through my website, some people like checks and balances, even though I, I know I, I'm fine. I, <laughs> I'm not a dishonest person. So, um, but if you're interested, that's over there, you know, and it's through the Patreon platform. So cool deal. I wanted to put that out there just so you guys knew. And if it's not in the description box down below, I'll put it after, but just it's Patreon, Texas Gal Treasures. You'll find it. Okay, I'm so glad that you're here once again. <clears throat> so let's, um, let me go through the rules. I hate the word rules, but expectations on how this works. What I will do is I will show an item and I will describe the item and I will tell you how much it costs. And then I will tell you the lot number and I'm not going in order this time to, uh, because I've learned my lesson. And then wait, if you want it, wait till you see Mary, she's gonna write it in caps. And she's gonna say the lot number and the price and the thing. And then after she posts that, that's what I'm gonna, um, I'll pick the first person that posts after that. Now, once you uh, win, once we're all done here, in the description, there's my email address, texasgaltreasures at gmail.com. You'll need to email me what your name is, because your name here might be different than it is in real life. So, like Sassy Girl, you know, she would put Sassy Girl and then she put her real name, so I would know who is who, you know, you, unless your email is the same as your name, we're fine. Um, so you'll put that, long story, your address so I can figure out the shipping because I do ship, you know, the shipping is added on top of it uh, so I can figure out where it's gonna go and how much it's gonna cost to get there. <clears throat> and, oh, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, and then you need to email me within 24 hours and then you have to pay within 24 hours of getting the invoice because I'll, I'll send the invoice. So I think I got it. I think I covered everything. If I didn't, ask me the questions. Bridget, Bridget, is it Bridget or Bridget? Bridget, thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. Now I get to give you a super sticker. I'm giving you a dancing pickle. Dancing, dancing pickle. Okay, <laughs> thank you for that super sticker. I appreciate it. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay, so I'm looking great. Everybody's here. Yay, the gang's all here. <laughs> all right, let's get started. And I. 
Mary was is kind enough to help again. I, I wasn't going to ask, but she offered, and I appreciate it because I know it's a big task, but I, I super appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to start with the things that didn't get paid for last time, so we can start there. And then I've got more uh, craft lots because that was something that friends friends seem to like. Okay, so we're gonna start with the trick or treat bowl, which I knew there are a few people that were like bummed that they didn't get. And so the trick or treat bowl is like a dish. It's like so. This is originally from Kohl's, and it looks like a candy corn. It's super awesome. And the trick or treat bowl is going to be ten dollars. And it is lot number two. I'm going out of order with my numbers. <laughs> All right, so that is that. While we're waiting for that, I'm gonna say thank you, Carrie, for that five pound super sticker. I need to give you a sticker back. What are we gonna do, what are we gonna do? Hmm, how about Dolly? Dolly says, I love you. Thank you for that super sticker. I appreciate it, you guys. Okay, and then if something doesn't sell right away, and plus, I'm not gonna have my feelings sort of like, nobody wants your trash. <laughs> um, I'll come back to it and later in the in the thing, in the hangout. So I won't have my feelings hurt, I promise. Oh, that's not next. I have to keep myself on track too. Okay, so I don't see anybody jumping on that just right now, so I'll come back to it. But I know last time, last time there were more than one person, people. Anyway. Uh-oh, somebody's mad. What happened? Oh, sassy girl, thank you for that super sticker. You guys, thank you. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna give you a different one. What is sassy girl like? I'm looking at her picture, hmm. Let's see, how about, oh no. Well, she is sassy, so we need to give her a sassy tassel. If you've got children, you may wanna avert their eyes for just a second. Here comes some sassy tassels for you, sassy girl. Woo-hoo! <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So, oh, she's mad people didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I'm not going to chase people down. It's fine. All right. So the, the second thing, and I know there were a few people that wanted this. I even had it bagged up and ready to go was the tray. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get it out of here so I can repackage it pretty easily. So this was the mirrored tray that we were looking at last week so <laughs> there's that one um and it could be like a a looking up your nose tray or oh gosh am i clean uh or you know like a vanity tray some people were saying it could be for like a cocktail tray too and it does have you know a little bit of wear to the metal but if you're good at refinishing things or maybe wanting to tape it off and paint it like a cool funky color or something like that <clears throat> Uh, Joby, oh yeah, it's uh, it's shipping, yeah. I don't do local pickup. I'm a recluse. Uh, okay, so, did I miss something? No, no, okay. Where did it go? Notes, <laughs> this is why I have notes. So this tray is uh, $15. I'm gonna try to slide it back in there. I'm gonna have to do it better later. So, that is $15 and it is lot number three. And I'm just going to say, at the end, I'm going to ask a question, a bonus question for a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway. Hang on. I'm trying to put this down without bumping anything. There we go. I have a, <clears throat> a bonus question that I'm going to ask at the end for, 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 for a giveaway. So I'm not telling you what it's about because then you'll know to look for it. <laughs> okay. So that was lot three, mirror tray, 15 bucks. Okay, I don't see Mary yet. That's fine. Then let me get the next one ready while Mary's popping that up. Am I supposed to show it longer? Or you guys got it? Uh oh, there it is, Mary Trey. Okay, and again, if we don't, I, I had somebody message me about it, so it's not that, it's not a huge deal. If nobody's like, I want it. Somebody else was like, I really wanted that. I'm really well and I missed it. Okay. Hello, Lydia. Hi, everybody. Thanks for, and I have to, say, somebody messaged me and said that after the show, like the chat was not there. So I need to go look in my settings and see where the chat has gone. Okay, we're off to a slow start, but that's okay. <laughs> we can just hang out too. It's all good. All right, the next lot is, 
I'm not, okay, do this right, Margaret. Is this copper bracelet. And I'll come back, if things don't get sold, it's not a big deal. I'll come back to it or, you know, whatever. So next up is this really cool copper, copper bracelet. It is a hinged bracelet and it's open work. It's got this cool geometric design, this hammered look, very cool. It's in good shape. There's no maker's mark. There we go. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, and this is lot number five and it is $10. Uh, hi from Leander. I'm so glad you're here. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right, so that is lot five and ten dollars for the copper cuff bracelet cuff clamper. All right, there's that one. So <laughs> now, where was I going to put these? I had a plan that I was going to put them. You know what? Let me wait. Are we supposed to? Oh, it's yeah, the buy it now price. That's it. That's it. Okay. Okay. So I see. Let me see who is first. If I can write it down. Where did Mary's go? Mary is here. All right. So then the first person looks like Susan. All right. Susan Powell. I'm going to write you now over here. There we go. Okay. Thank you. I'm checking, checking, checking. Okay. Then the next item, I actually, dro I'm dropping the price on this one. I asked 25 for it last time, 30, can't remember now, but I dropped the price a little bit. It's this really pretty nutcracker, and honestly, if it doesn't sell, I'm not gonna be heartbroken, because I'll keep it. What I really found notable about him was his face is three-dimensional, and a lot of the nutcrackers I've seen just kind of like painted on faces. They might have like, like just a rudimentary wooden nose, but his face is so cool and sculpted, like the details on his face and eyes and mustache and everything are just so cool. I mean, you can tell he's, he's, I don't see a maker's mark on there anywhere, but he, I mean, I really think he's a pretty good quality nutcracker. So there he is, very cool nutcracker, chomp. And that's what the back of him looks like. And there's the bottom. Yeah, I just thought his face was super cool compared to like when I was looking up how to price him when I was gonna list him. He's awesome, he's awesome. Okay, so Mr. Nutcracker, <clears throat> he is lot seven, and I'm asking 20 for him. I dropped the price a little bit, but yeah, again, take a look at that face. He's like, I will chomp your nuts for you. Chomp, 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 chomp. I will chomp your nuts. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me chomp some nuts up in here, up in here. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I'll put that over there. Uh, or I could just play with him when we have videos and have him come sing, sing along as we are doing, <laughs> as we're doing songs. Then it's not just me singing, right? Then I have, oh, wait, wait a minute, Mr. Nutcracker, wait. Okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm talking myself out of selling. All right, so there we go. Mary put it up there. And I'll wait. I may come back to him later again. And that's okay, too. Uh, oh, wait. I see Sarah. I see Carol said seven. Okay. So I'm going to put Carol down here. I think he's awesome. I think he's super cool. <clears throat> All right. He, he may be the next, the next big Instagram star. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So next up is another a lot. There are... Three more lots that uh, didn't get paid for from last time. But this was another one that had multiple bidders on it, or not bidders, but wanters. And this is that, <clears throat> sorry, it's a Kate Spade necklace. And it's this black Kate Spade necklace. Looks like so, it's gorgeous. And that's the back of it. This the, the set, I mean, they're set in such a nice way. Really high quality, they're beautiful. As you can see and the clasp is a nice lobster clasp and then we've got the Kate Spade hang tag on it you can come up here on the head so you can see it a bit better like so <clears throat> pardon me so this is lot 11 and this is $20 this is 20 bucks and there's the back I think the back is almost as pretty as the front honestly the way that it I mean it's such good quality 
So cool. All right, so waiting to see. Mary pop it in there. And then let me slide it back in the back. So I'm waiting to see the first person after Mary. <clears throat> Pardon. And make sure that your chat is live chat and not top chat. Because sometimes if you do live chat or top chat, yeah, do live chat. Okay. So that's Mary. The first person I see is Melissa. D-R. I'm going to drive holes. I'm not sure if I said your name right. I hope I did. I hope I did. Okay. Sweet. All right. Next, I'm going to try to keep it moving. Mary, is it going to throw you off if I go out of order at, at any point? <laughs> All right. The next one is another lot that we, uh, another one that we had last week that a few people wanted. And it's this gorgeous J. Crew kind of aqua and sea, sea foam kind of green necklace. And again, the setting on this, let me show you the back. Like, I feel like this, the setting is, <laughs> okay. Cause sometimes I like to mix it up. <laughs> All right. So there's the back, which I think is almost, I mean, as, as nice as the front. Then there's the front, which has got this nice bling, this greeny blue color. And again, it is a J. Crew. Let's see how it looks on the forehead. Very nice. On the forehead, looks good. So this one <clears throat> is lot 13, and it is $15. So, all right, here we go. Yeah, super pretty. And I, a lot of people last week wanted this one too, so not super sad. Okay, so again, this one is... Lot 13 and $15. All right, so I see the first person after Mary is Carrie B. There we go. And you know what? I apologize. I didn't get my nails repainted before. <laughs> I was going to try to repaint my nails before I came live because they got all chippy. But all right, then <clears throat> this is the last lot from last week that didn't get sold. Or it got sold but didn't get paid for. And that was the USA Bingo. The USA Bingo, still new and sealed. I got it because I was going to do this with my kids, and then I was like, what am I doing? I have two kids. <laughs> so cool USA Bingo where you can learn, identify the states, capitals, nicknames, and more. So USA Bingo, still new and sealed. It was a Mardell, which is a teacher supply store. Uh, but this is lot 17, pardon me, and it's $8. USA Bingo. Do you know the capital of Mississippi? Do you know the capital of North Dakota? Okay, so I see Alicia <laughs> is the first person that popped up after Mary. So let me write that down. Alicia. Uh, Oh, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ha, 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 Dave. <laughs> the capital is NND, North Dakota. <laughs> okay, next up, this is a necklace that I got out of my lot that I did yesterday or the day before. Day before? This is the one that was the pearl in the chain, that one, that I shared with you guys. It is pretty lightweight. It's really nice though. There's no maker's mark that I can see. So it's a double strand, faux pearl, gold chain, super, it's lightweight. So it's not gonna like bog you down like some of them can. <clears throat> and this I'm asking $8 for. You could wear it like this, or you could wear it like this. This is the one the business lady is like saying, I'm a lady, treat me like a lady. But don't mess with me because I will chain you. Um, <laughs> so this is $8 is what I'm asking for this one. And it is lot 19. So it's one of those that sits at the, it's like a collar one. It sits like right at the base of your neck. So there. <laughs> Dave is hot with the dad jokes. So, so once again, we got the pearl, faux pearl, gold chain, double strand, Lot 19, 
and it's eight bucks. Okay, so I am gonna give you a clue for the giveaway thing. I just realized if I don't do if I don't give you a clue, you're never gonna know what to look for. <laughs> so I'm gonna be um, at the end. I'm gonna be asking you for a pattern that you might have noticed throughout the the video. And if you can tell me what the pattern is, then I have uh, I'll do a giveaway for that. Okay, so pearl and chain necklace, lot 19, eight bucks. There we go. And thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. And if no one gets this one now, I'll come back to it because I think it's really cute. I think it's cute. And it's not super heavy like some of them can be. <clears throat> Tell me how you guys feel. Should I keep going with jewelry or should I mix like jewelry and hard goods? Because I've got, I have more jewelry this time than hard goods, but I do have some hard goods stuff too. All right. So I'm going to set this one to the side because we can come back to it. Um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to answer you right now. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to come back to that one. Next is this gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. This gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You say just jewelry. Lydia's like, just bring on the jewelry. I, okay. Because <laughs> I do have some hard good stuff too. All right, so this beautiful red, oh, they're either like crystal or glass, but they're not plastic. They're definitely not plastic. Uh, it's got this really cool box clasp, really ornate, faceted to the nth degree, double strand red necklace. And again, kind of hangs like right at the base of the neck. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. All right, so there's this one. This is lot 23. And it is, where did I go? $15. I, was, I did it out of order again. So this one is $15. How do you know if it's crystal or glass? Yeah, yeah, they're definitely cooler. You can tell by the way they rub together and sound. Uh, it's yeah, they're super pretty. I don't know about wearing it red on red, but it's awesome. All right, so the first person I see, <laughs> red snazzy necklace. First person I see is Ishara. Okay, so I'm gonna write that down right here. And there we go. Sweet, thank you. All right, and, and so yeah, yeah. Don't forget, send me uh, an email so I can get the invoice sent over to you, everybody. If you want to wait, because then at the end, if you get more than one item, I can send a, yeah, you like combine the shipping and everything. Okay, next up is this one from the, the lot we just did the other day. This is a stretchy bracelet, like so. The stretch is good with it. And this has got that kind of Indian motif. It's pearly and blingy. Pardon me, there is a little bit of elastic I need to trim right there, or I'll let you trim it. Like so. Super, super cute. Okay, there's that. And this one <clears throat> is $8. So, eight bucks. It is lot 29. Here we go. Looks like so on the bod. So, lot, what did I say? 29 at $8. <laughs> there we go. All right, I'm gonna put that in the bag. Let me see if Mary. Thank you, Sarah. Yes. Email within yeah, email within 24 hours for the lots. Yes. <laughs> Our Indian stretch bracelet. And the first name I see is Cats Alluring Treasures. Thank you. Got that down. Next, I'm gonna try to keep it moving because I know last time not so, someone was saying it was going too slow, or maybe it was my imagination. Okay, ne <clears throat> the next lot we've got saucy tassels, saucy saucy tassels. So we've got these really cute sassy tassels. I wouldn't even bother trying to sell them to you if they weren't cute, right? If they were dirty tassels, we wouldn't even be going there. But we've got these cute sassy tassel earrings. They're gold hoops. 
they've got this kind of pennant look with these little triangles and then these little black sassy tassels sassy tassels like that okay cute and <clears throat> pardon me these are lot 31 and they are eight dollars eight dollars lot 31 there we go let's see so none of you <laughs> okay let's see oh thanks lexi <laughs> i had all of y'all helping me last week that's for sure so we got the sassy tassel earrings they're actually cute you know me and tassels i'm very picky about tassels all right so here's mary the first person i see is ladybug insanity stay tuned ladybug insanity i have something you may like <laughs> Uh, ladybug insanity. Okay. Oh, you've seen a lot of people on TV wearing tassel earrings. Yeah. Uh oh. I missed something that makes it hard. That's okay. I don't know what it is though. Uh, lot and price is coming up. Before. Lot and price is coming up before. So Mary's saying it before I say it because there is a lag. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, the next slot, there may be a, a lag, so I'm not sure how that. The next item is this. It's a, just a resin cameo, just a resin cameo. It is black and kind of creamy colored, set in this gunmetal, <clears throat> kind of blackish gunmetal setting. There's the back. It's on a pretty long chain. There's no maker's mark, no clasp, because it's long enough just to go over the neck, like sear. Very pretty. And it's like that big on your forehead, if you're interested. Okay, you're waiting for a second before. Okay. Okay, good, good. So, should be a seven second delay. All right, so there's that. Oh. That's not, yeah, there's a fail right there. Like so. So this black cameo is, I'm asking $8. And it is lot 37. Oh, yeah, the soda. <laughs> what happened is I, uh, my dad came. <laughs> I stopped. I haven't had, I haven't had one in probably since the end of March or April. And then my dad came and he brought a, a 12 pack with him. <laughs> And then he left, and he left what he didn't drink. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll drink them. And then once they're gone, they're gone. Though I'm not buying anymore. So there's that. Okay. Um. So I see Mary. So we got lot thirty-seven, eight bucks for our cameo. And I'll wait and see for just a second if we have a. Uh, buyer if not we'll bring it back in a minute so there's that i'm gonna set it over here to the side since i don't see anybody just yet then and if i miss somebody let me know is there a pause in case margaret says it i almost never in on camera say i just between you and me if there's no children around i i can curse like a sailor so um, but I, I don't know. I'm not, not in mixed company. I'd have to know you pretty well probably to, to go, at, um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So next, cause I didn't see, <laughs> I wish that were true. <laughs> the other day when I was doing the video with the, when the bee or wasp, whatever it was was flying around, I may have said some words to him. <laughs> Maybe just in my head. I don't know. Um, all right, so next up, we have got where to go. Okay, here it is. This gorgeous turquoise colored seed bead necklace has got many, 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 many strands. And it is finished with these silver tone, silver, silver tone. It might be silver. I didn't test it. I didn't test it. Uh, beads and finishes at the top. 
And you can wear it loose like so, or you can twist it. If you like it, look like that twisty look. You can like twist it around <laughs> like so, twisty, twisty, twisty. Well, I'm not, do I'm not doing it justice like so. All right, it's very pretty. It's got a lobster clasp. This one is, I'm asking $15. Clip, like so. Isn't it pretty? 15 bucks and it is lot 41. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my pure impression. <laughs> okay, I will, I will let you keep that pure impression in me. <laughs> Squeaky clean and wholesome. But I, you know, I think there's a time and a place. And I like that the channel, I like that we have a good relationship here where we, we try to keep it clean and positive. <laughs> so... All right, so there's that. Let me set, see if I, okay, see Mary's posted, so I'm waiting to see before I set it to the sod. Oh, okay, you winky eyed. <laughs> okay, I see the first person after Mary looks like Naomi. Yay, congratulations, Naomi. Naomi Cherries. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna set that over here in my sold box. And what am I? I'm drinking Diet Dr. Pepper. And then I have water too for when I need that. I usually can't even drink a whole soda though because I start feeling weird. I start feeling weird. Okay, so next up, I have this Betsy Johnson from the haul the other day. It is a stretch bracelet, but it's also a charm bracelet. So gold tone. It's got these hearts with the cheetah print. It's got this little clock in it. It's missing a couple stones. Oh, it's missing like two little stones on there. I didn't even notice that. Okay, I'll have to drop the price. Then we've got this one. We've got the BJ, like so. And even the backs of these are really cute. So if they flop over, they're still like kind of cute. I'm gonna drop the price because I just noticed there were two missing stones on the little clock one, which is a bummer. Okay, but it's not super noticeable if you're wearing it like so. <clears throat> okay, so this, I'm asking $8 now. I was going to ask more, but now I'm asking $8 for this cute Betsy Johnson charm bracelet. And it is lot 43. <laughs> oh, no. I'm missing what... what what Lexi said. Margaret has another channel where she does videos and she's only swearing. That would be something, huh? <laughs> oh, okay. So there's that. Um, I see Mary has posted. So now I'll wait and see. Lot 43, $8. And I'm going to set it here until we see. Next up. <laughs> I'm waiting one second. Okay, I'm gonna set it to the side. I can always come back. I'm gonna I'll come back in a little bit for some of them. Okay. Then the next lot I've got here. I may have to mix it up here in a second. After this one, I'm gonna mix it up, Mayor. Is it okay if I call you Mayor? Okay. The next one are these three bangles. They're gold tone. They've got these green faceted stones. Pardon me. There's no maker's mark, but they're really well done. They're not cheapy looking. My nails though, gracious. Okay, so these three bangles, I'm asking $10 and this is lot 47. Uh oh. <laughs> she's just making sure that you're, that you're seeing it. I don't think she's yelling at you. So there's that. Ignore my nails. Ignore them. All right. So that is lot 47, and that is $10 for those three gorgeous, gorgeous gold tone and green faceted stone bangles. Hello. Hi in the chat. Okay. Let me put these back in this bag. Baggy. I do have some silver. PT was asking if there's going to be any fine jewelry. I do have some silver. All right, so there's those. 
All right. So Mary, I'm jumping to the second page at the top of the second page. All right, so I'm going to put these to the side. I'll come back to them after a bit. Okay. And um, now I'm going to do some lots because I know we've got friends who like the lots. If I can find the right order. Hang on, there it is. Pull. Oh, oh, my gosh. Okay. So this is my first lot that I'm going to sell. I have a few of these. And these are true, like, mixed lots. So there is going to be stuff in the lots that's wearable, sellable. There's going to be stuff in the lots that maybe you could craft with or is something that, you know, maybe missing or maybe a solo earring or missing a stone. But there's also wearable sellable. And I really tried. I sat down probably for like an hour before this and tried to make sure that the mates, like if I had a mate for the earring, it was in the right bag. So I was pairing, <laughs> matching up earrings, making sure. So there's that. Okay, so this is my first lot. And let me tell you how I ship these two so you're not surprised. So this bag is a padded mailer. I take this padded mailer and I put it into a padded flat rate mailer. So it's a, ma a mailer, padded mailer in another padded mailer. That's what I do. All right, so this one is the heaviest of all of them. This one is 4.6 pounds. Four pounds, six ounces. And I'll show what's I'll show and then I'll pull out. So this one has does have a lot of earrings, but it's got this cool like cuff bracelet in there. It's got cool, I can't show you everything that's in there. There's a big torque in there. It's an earring hanging on. This one does have a lot of earrings. And again, I tried to make sure I got as many mates in there as I could. There's a, there's a ring in there. See some other stuff. Okay, so this is my first of the lots. And this one is 20 bucks, and it is lot 137. 137. So there's that one. And make sure that Mary's got it. But again, this is going to be the heaviest. The other lots are all about three pounds, but I still, they're all going to be the same price. That's just easy. It's just easier that way. So 20 bucks, four pounds. And I see my first one after Mary is JP, G, R, J, P, G, R, mom. Yay. <laughs> Yay. All right. Next up is another. We'll go through some of these lots and I'll save some for a bit. All right. Next lot. This one is three pounds, 3.3 pounds. I'll show you inside and then I'll pull some stuff out. So it's kind of got... A mix of stuff. That's a pretty one. I almost sold this one by itself. This has got like shell and like turquoisey beads and stuff. I almost did that one by itself. But, but I didn't. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of grab a lot and pull it. But again, like it is a true mix of wearable sellable and things that might need repair or things that... Yeah, if you if you're in Canada, as long as you pay the shipping, you know lots. Um, but yeah, once again, true mix of stuff. I don't want anyone getting mad. I'm like, there was beads at the bottom. Well, there's wearable, sellable. There's stuff that might be broken. There's earrings. There's all kinds of stuff. Um, so again, this is lot one thirty nine, and this one is twenty dollars. Yeah. Let's see. I think I'm going to try. I'm going to try to keep it up. It, am I here next week? Yes, I am. Okay. So there we go. Where's Mary? Did she post it yet? Don't don't say it until Mary posts because if you do it, then I have to. So here's Mary. The first person I see after Mary is Jackie. So let me get Jackie down here. Yeah, I have to go right after Mary because I messed up last time. Is there a chance it will have – there's a possibility. There were a couple of earrings that I wasn't 100% about. Oh, I forgot. I was going to throw – I have all these rings. I was going to, like, throw a random ring in each lot as we went along. I forgot. Let me do that now before I forget. <laughs> throwing it in. Throwing it in. Okay. So <laughs> that reminded me. Okay, next – 
Where am I? Okay. Lot E. E, E, E. Where'd you go? All right. Here's Lot E. And I will, once we do these, I, I do have some other lots, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. So Lot E is three pounds, 3.2 pounds. And yeah, let me do bonus ring now. Here's bonus ring. This one gets this bonus ring. Bonus ring. There it goes. Goes in there. Okay. <laughs> this one is, you know, again, mix. That's a brooch. We just kind of grab a bunch and pull it up. Again, just a true mixed lot. Oh, that's pretty. Who's that? Of stuff. All the stuff. <laughs> uh, it's just got a little bit of everything. Again, wearable, sellable, things missing, stones, etc., etc. All kinds of stuff. So, uh, the shipping is, that's why you, if you send me, once you buy a lot, once you select a lot or win a lot, whatever we want to say, you'll send me your, an email with your address and I'll, but these, in, if these are going in the U S it's probably going to be eight bucks. So yay, congrats. Uh, so here we go. This one is lot 149 and it is 20 bucks. Lot e. So there. And I'm waiting for Mary. Yeah, so on the on the it just depends on the on the lot. And if you end up, but if you end up buying more than one, then it'll be different. Because then I'll combine shipping and we'll figure it out. So there's that. Okay, so Mary is here. First person I see is Jackie. Congrats. Jackie. Am I on the right one? Watkins. Okay, congrats, y'all. Okay, then I've got a couple more lots I'm going to do, and then I'll jump to something else, and I'll come back to some more lots. Let me do one more of the lots. Let's see. Where'd it go? Where is it? I'm getting it. Of course, it's the farthest one. <laughs> okay, this is the – we'll do this one, and then I'll jump to something else. So this is lot. Uh, three pounds, two ounces, and again, another true mix slot, wearable, sellable, and repair, and craft. Just got all kinds of stuff in there. Let me try to grab a handful to pull out so I can kind of show you what. This is all the stuff on the top. On the top, there's a glass pendant and some earrings and bracelets, necklaces. And again, I really tried to make sure if there was a mate that the mate was in there. <clears throat> so this one is tw again 20 bucks and this one's lot 151 so I'm gonna wait until I see Mary and then I'll where's Mary wait for Mary <laughs> so I don't see Mary yet there it is okay there's Mary I'm looking for the next one right after Mary. It crazy jumped. <clears throat> it crazy jumped on me. Right after Mary is Jackie Watkins. Okay. All right, so next, we've got some more viewers now, so I'm gonna go back and and go over a few that we passed, we missed, um, missed that we did earlier. So this is one that didn't get picked, um, paid for last week. And so this is the trick-or-treat bowl dish. And this is 10 bucks. This is lot number two. So if you're interested in this one, let's see. I'm going to jump down here. I'm mixing it up. <laughs> I'm going to mix it up. I do have some more lots. So if you're interested in lots, I do have at least four left. Did I throw a ring in that one? I don't think I did. Let me throw a ring in that one. Which one was it? Oh dear, there it is. Okay. All right. So here we go. This one is the trick or treat bowl, lot two, and this one's 10 bucks. And I'm going to look and see. It's just, I mean, October's next week, y'all, or this week? It's, yeah. The end of. Okay. So Deborah. Okay, Deborah, I'm going to go ahead and put you down for that. Okay, since nobody got that, she wanted the cameo. I'm going to put that down for you. Deborah Ripper. Okay. 
Okay, so I see Mary, and then the first person after Mary that wanted this is Connie. Congratulations, Connie. Connie Williams. I have not known too many Connies in my life, but I went to high school with a girl named Connie. Um, we ran in the same circles. So there's that. Okay. The next one that I know a few people wanted this last week, and I even had somebody else say they, they were like bummed they didn't get it. And it was the mirror tray. Got it all bubble wrapped. We got more people in here now, so maybe you're here. It's the mirror tray. That could be a vanity tray, or if you wanted to use it like as a cocktail tray, you could, you know, tape it off. You could DIY, like clean it up, tape, you know, like repaint it, whatever color you want. And this is lot three and asking 15 bucks. It does have a little bit of wear, but again, if you're into repurposing things, you could totally, I mean, I was, I'm, I was thinking like if I taped it off and then there's like this paint that has like super glittery, like psh, you could totally glitter it up and made it, make it like Hollywood Regency. Totally, totally. Okay, I'm gonna set this with the, its bubble wrapping over here very carefully. And let's see. Here's Mary. Did the other the other mirror did sell? Yeah, the other one. It's true. It's true. Okay. So there's that one. But I did. If if nobody does want that one, it's cool. Yeah, the frame mirror that that one did. Somebody did buy that one, and it's already off. So okay, cool. Yeah, I do. If nobody wants this one, it's cool because I know somebody else who does. So it's all good. It's a win win. <laughs> All right, so next, okay, it was the pearl in the chain. So the next one was this one. I just want to go back over these just in case. And I might drop the price on them if nobody wants. We'll see. You know, no biggie. So this was the, it's really lightweight. It's a faux pearl and chain necklace. This one is eight bucks and it's lot 19. So there. Luxor. Deborah says a little brass polish would get looking like new. Probably, yeah. But it could totally be zhuzhed up and like made to look super duper fancy. Fancy schmanza. Okay. So there's that. I'm looking for Mary. Okay, there's Mary. I'm looking to see if anybody wants to claim this one. And. All right, I don't see anybody, that's okay. Okay, moving over to the side. Okay, that got clean, put that over here. The next one was the Betsy Johnson. And what I might end up doing if nobody ends up getting these, I might just throw them into one of these random lots, which is fine too. So <laughs> it's a win, we'll win, somebody will get them, <laughs> whether you want it or not. <laughs> um, let's see. Hang on. I think you're asking me to redo this one. Are you asking me to redo this one, Naomi? You, you realize you can't do it? That's fine. I appreciate you letting me know. I'll come back to that. Okay, so here's the Betsy Johnson stretchy bracelet. I remember I said it was missing, it's missing two little stones there. So I have this one at eight, so I'm gonna try it for five. If you would like the stretchy Betsy Johnson charm bracelet. It's, I'm gonna move it to five bucks, and that is lot 43. So there's that, stop shaking around you. There we go, oh no, it's, it's okay, no biggie. All right, so there's that. Let me see if Mary pop, when Mary pops it up. Betsy Johnson, five bucks on that one, drop the price. And there we go. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna come back and do this one that uh, Naomi was like, ah, I can't do it. And that's fine, it's totally fine. All right, I don't see anybody on that one, and that's okay too. So this is the one, this is the turquoise beads, the multi-strand, we had a few people bid on that. I wonder if I should go back and look. No, no, we're just gonna do it over. It's the multi-strand turquoise 
multi-strand beads, very pretty, very, very, very pretty. It hangs like right at the base of your neck, like so. Really pretty. It doesn't look right with my arm behind my head, but there we go. Very pretty, and then it's got these silver or silver tone beads at the end, nice little caps on top. And so this one is $15, and it's lot 41. Like so. Oh no, major thunderstorms. <laughs> well, I hope you're okay. Y'all have been getting hit, Florida. I tell you what. All right, so there's that one. Gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise seed bead necklace. Beautiful. I'm looking to see Mary. There's Mary. I'm going to set this right over here until I see if anyone bids on it. Until I see who it is. <clears throat> then... Okay, I may come back to it if nobody nobody bids on it right now or wants it right now. That's fine. I'm waiting just one second. Let's see. Okay, I'll come back to that. All right, next. I can always bring it back in a second. And trust me, that's one that I know. If I put it up to sell online, it'll sell. That's no problem. All right, the next one, when I found it in a lot, I, I almost thought it was an Alex uh, Lexus guitar because of the way it's made, <clears throat> but it's not. But it's got that same finish, like if you know Alexis Bittar, which is a really high-end um, couture costume jewelry, and it has that kind of like textured look. But this is a knot, it's something else, which is also something that people like. Uh, it's got this cheetah print through this kind of Alexis Bittar finish. I don't know what else you would call it, because that's the only other place I see it. And so inside it's got the cheetah print, and then it's got these cool bands along three sides and this one is you ready for it where is it Let's see if i can see it. it's kind of etched in there can you see it? it's a brighton uh bracelet and it's in really good shape i don't think i'm gonna be, be able to show you because it's like let's see if i can you can kind of see the heart right there and there's the cursive b in it yeah oh there it is there it is that's a brighton so this is a brighton one and I, i've seen a couple up for sale so if you wanted to flip it after I sell it to you, you can. So this Brighton Cheetah Bengal, um, I'm asking $15 for, and it is a lot 53. But I've seen some up for, I think I saw one on Poshmark for 46 and one on Mercari. So totally flippable if you wanted to do that. Yeah, isn't it cool? But yeah, the only other jewelry maker that I've seen do that, that style of finish is Alexis Bittar. So that's what it made me think of when I saw it. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> when I ever saw it, and I was like, wow. Um, yeah, any of them that you, you want to resell, you can resell. I won't have my feelings hurt. I won't have my feelings hurt. All right, so there's that. I see Carol is the first one on that one. It's really cute. Even if you're like, I know somebody this would be a great Christmas present for. Yes, I, I buy Christmas presents well in advance. <laughs> Well, well, well in advance. Okay. I do have a few rings, Carla. Yeah. Uh, they'll be coming. Okay. Then this is one that I was going to catch and release, and I've decided I'm going to go ahead and release it. I have not. I haven't checked any flea markets out around here. So the next item I've got is this necklace. Here, I'll put it up here so you can see it better. It's the world. And I was going to keep it. I have the one that's like the T-Rex skeleton one that's done like this. But this is great. Like if you've got a teacher, like a teacher gift. But you've got the whole world here. It's articulated down here. Australia, you better hold on. Don't fall off. Um, <laughs> so, okay, this is, I'm asking $10 for this United, not United States, but the world, of course. And Australia is trying to be like, let me go. No, no, you have to come with us. So this is uh, 10 bucks is a lot 59. So I do, I do have some more knickknacks. I've been kind of just going down the jewelry list. All right. So there's that. I'm going to put it back in the bag. Isn't it fun? I, again, it's one of those like, well, I'm not going to be heartbroken. <laughs> so what, let's see, where is Mary? Here's Mary first. Yeah. I will send it. I will send anywhere. Um, 
Poor New Zealand, I know. Thing. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to figure out the shipping, that's all. So I see the first person after Mary. Wait, wait, that's not right. Where's Mary? There's Mary. My lot, my my chat jumped when I clicked that. Sorry. The first person is Carol. Okay, Carol. Uh, Carol Herring. Sure. Okay, Herring. Okay, cool. Got it. Let's see. Next. Okay, I know. Sorry. Some of the smaller. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. Yeah, shipping's not included in the price. True. Next up, I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, I'll have some rings in a, in a minute. Um, I guess I should jump. Should I jump to something else? Or just keep going? I'll just keep going. I'll just keep going. I'm going to get mixed up if I don't. So the next is a lot, and it's a copper and brass lot. They, if you like mixed metal stuff, I've got... I've got this for you. <laughs> so I've got four bracelets here. The first one is this copper bracelet with the magnets in it, like so. This one is another copper bracelet. It needs a little shine up, but it's adjustable in the length or width, whatever. Then we've got this brass bangle. It is like flat on one side, flat on the opposite side and then this really sweet little one so they might need a little shine up but there we are we have four bracelets copper and brass bracelets and I'm asking ten dollars for the four of them that's really good because probably this one copper one would sell for more than that so there's that that's four copper bracelet or four metal bracelets copper and brass 10 bucks, this is a lot 61. 61 for my metal friends, my metal heads. <laughs> there we go. I'm looking to see Mary in there. Uh, okay, there's Mary. I got the four bracelets. And waiting for just a second. I should have like a joke book here to keep us amused while we wait for a second. Knock, knock, who's there? I don't know any knock, knock jokes, so you're just gonna be standing there for a minute. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Okay, I'm gonna set these to the side for now in case somebody pops up and wants them. And let's see, I'm gonna jump. I'm looking to see. Oh wait, I think I got somebody. Okay. Uh, oh, it really, really jumped. Ah. Uh, Okay, there's Mary. Cindy, okay, yay. There's such a lag, so I guess I should just keep holding them up. Cindy, shorter. Yay, thank you. Let's see. Copper so healthy to wear, Ladybug says. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, put this over here. Then we've got Okay, should I keep going? I think Mary, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump a little bit, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do some hard good stuff. So the next item is this really sweet little fall, kind of a trinket tray or a key tray or whatever that you would like. It's got these really pretty fall leaves on it sweet little dish like so and this one what would you put on it you know you could set it down and put your keys on it when you came in or i don't know maybe you're on a walk and you're picking up acorns as you're walking you can set your acorns on that so this one i'm asking five dollars and it is lots 167. there we go 167 this is five bucks for the leaf plate tray leaf yeah for pretty pretty fall foliage isn't it pretty all right i see mary there we go and so five bucks for that sweet little tray 
and like a little entry tray, right? Yeah, exactly. Isn't it pretty? And it's just in time for fall. All right, I'm going to set it to the side. We'll see. Again, there's, okay, there's Connie. Let's see, where is it? Connie. All right. Okay, the next thing. <laughs> I was like, let me just see if anybody likes this. I, 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 We'll see. The next lot I have is an actual lot, and it's shells. But I know some people are really into shells. So I'll sh I have four shells. I don't really sell a whole lot of a lot of them, so I don't know if my price is good or not. You'll have to tell me. So first of the four is the Sea Star, and there's the back of it. Then next, I don't know what this kind of shell is called, but it's really pretty and cute. Is this is not a cowrie, is it? It's that style. There's that, and then I've got th this one. Looks like that. Looks like somebody used to live in there. Well, I guess clearly, or it wouldn't be a shell. This. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. And this shell. Once again, it looks like somebody used to live in there. There it is. All right. So I've got these four shells, and I'm asking five bucks for them. I don't know if that's good or bad, <laughs> probably, I don't know. And that's lot 173. But if you have like, if you do, you know, shells in your bathroom or your decorations and stuff, this one's pretty cool too, right? That's pretty awesome. You could use them for whatever you want, crafts or, yeah, I don't know. So there we go, we got four shells. And I'm asking five bucks. I see. Okay, it's a good price. Good. Okay. It's like I don't sell a whole lot of shells. I know some can be worth money. I see Carol. Carol. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Next lot, you guys. I almost didn't sell this. <laughs> this is a lot because I have. there's three items in it. This is a Harry Potter lot. So where's my Harry Potter? Where's my Potter heads? out there we've got three things here I'm going to show you all three the first item in this lot of three is a necklace that has the Deathly Hollows. that is the invincible wand the unbeatable wand the resurrection stone and the cloak the invisibility cloak that's what those stand for from the tale of three brothers so there's that necklace then there is a Gryffindor necklace that has the Gryffindor lion. And that one, there's a little bit of something on the back. Warner Brothers. It says WBE. That's not Warner Brothers. What is that? WBE. I don't even know. And then the next one is the Time Turner. These two are kind of tangled up right here. <laughs> I was in a hurry, so I didn't untangle them. So then we've got the Time Turner that has a little, it works. The sand goes down in the in the time turner. As you can see, Warner Brothers Entertainment, that makes sense. There we go. All right, so we've got three Harry Potter necklaces. This is, I'm asking $20 for all three of them. Again, great if you have somebody who's a Harry Potter fan. <laughs> this, or, that would be a great lot. So 20 bucks for all three of those and that's a lot 179 Warner Brothers Entertainment yeah that makes sense <laughs> thanks y'all <laughs> sometimes your brain is going in too many, too many directions and you can't think of the obvious right okay so three Harry Potter necklaces and we're looking at 20 bucks for a lot 179 so I see stop motion station is first Thank you. Okay, put that over there. Oh, it is starting to itch. Okay, tell me how you feel about cookbooks. Because I have some cookbooks that were mine that I'm not using anymore. And so they're not written in. We'll see how it goes. I'll do the first lot and we'll see. 
Uh, here's the first one. If you're if you're on the keto diet, because I used to try, I used to do the keto diet, and I don't anymore. I, it does have the sticky notes from the pages that I wanted to make or things that I wanted to try, but I never wrote in it. So that's the first. There's two books in this one. The first one is this five ingredient ketogenic diet cookbook. Looks like so. And then the other one that's going to be in this one is the Big Book of Keto Diet for Beginners 2018. Right. So there's that. If you're doing the keto or thinking about it. So I'm asking $10 for the pair. And I should be able to send them media mail. So it should be fairly inexpensive, hopefully, to send them. Uh, so that's lot 181 for these two keto cookbooks. Uh, Uh-oh. What's the two for? Who's? Okay. Yeah, the two's. Okay. Anyway, um, so where's Mary? <laughs> Set of two. Okay, I see Cheryl Kimball. Thank you, Cheryl. All right, there's that. Okay, I have two more lots of, of the cookbooks. So the next lot. Okay, these ones are bigger. Okay. Next up, I've got the quick and easy ketogenic cooking. Again, we've got some stickies from recipes I wanted to make, but again, I didn't write in it. This one's got some good pictures too. So there's that, that one, quick and easy. And then this one is not keto necessarily, but it's paleo, practical paleo, which is a pretty popular one. And again, it's got lots of pictures and etc. So these two, I'm doing a quick price change on this one. Um, I'm doing 15 for those two, and this is lot 191. So quick and easy, ketogenic and practical paleo. Again, I'm moving in a different direction. So let's see. Oh, I'm so glad, Ladybug. She sold the mug. All right, so these two, 15 bucks, waiting for Mary, and that's lot 191. Oh, they're heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. And there's Mary. Ah, wrong one. So Cheryl, Cheryl Kimball. All right. And then I have one more lot with the with the cookbooks. <laughs> so next up, the last one. These are the last the last lot with the cookbooks. I've got the Craveable Keto cookbook. And again, like so, lots of good pictures. And then this one is the Keto Comfort Foods. And lots of, again, it has my sticky notes, but I didn't write in it. It's just like, I'm gonna try that one or I'm gonna make that one. So there's that. Okay, so these two, I'm asking 10 bucks for those. And that is lot 197. Let me see. <laughs> so I'm waiting to see where's Mary on here. I know there's a little bit of a lag. <clears throat> there's Mary. I'm waiting to see who's right after Mary on my end. So right after Mary, I see Connie. Honey. Okay, next item. Okay, the next thing I've got is a hard good item. This was something that, I don't know, I like it. I got it from one of my loot crates, and it's a Game of Thrones thing. So it's a dragon egg, and it's got, you can make it a toothbrush holder. Here's the inside of that. It's a little wiped down. So there's, you can make it a toothbrush holder, or if you want to use the other part of the egg, you can make it, you know, to put cotton balls in or whatever you want to put in there. So, <laughs> yes, you can, Mary. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> um, no, I, okay, I have to take this one off the table. Okay, I'm just going to send that to Mary. Sorry, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to put Mary over here. 
<laughs> Mary's been helping me so much. I'm just gonna. Okay, never mind. Moving on. Next lot. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. I'm putting that aside. That's for Mary. <laughs> All right. So the next item is a hat that I actually designed the the hat and. Somebody bought it off of my Etsy shop, but they didn't, it didn't end up working out, but they never wore it. So it's still like, so, uh, so it is my design as far as the flaming volcano hat, never been worn. And it is a snapback baseball hat. The brand is auto in there. Again, it still has the cardboard inner and all that good stuff. So my volcano hat, which if you've got a kid or somebody who loves volcanoes, perfect, perfect Christmas present. So this hat I'm asking 20 bucks for, and this is an embroidered patch on there. So it's really, except for that cat here, how this put up. How'd you get on there? Like so. So I'm asking 20 bucks for this. It is lot 211. What is that? Uh, Okay, so there we go. So if you are interested in the volcano hat, I still oh yeah, I haven't um I haven't been making as many as I used to, but yeah, I still I still have a lot of stuff up and it's a really cool exploding fiery volcano. Again, it would be a great Christmas present if you've got someone in your life that likes volcanoes. And it's in immaculate condition. Here we go. I see Mary. Okay, Mary's posted. Lot 211. There's a bit of a lag, so I'm going to wait one second on that one. Do, do, do. Okay. Now I'm going to move on. Uh, next up. I am, okay, where is it? Where'd it go? Here we go. Okay, we've got some silver earrings. These were ones that were catch and release too. So next I've got these. And I did have somebody question, ask me a while back if they if I was going to sell them. And at the time I was like, no. These are really cool silver earrings. They have this kind of open work with stars and moons and bursts. And they're double-sided, like so. So these sweet little silver earrings, I'm asking 15 for, and this is lot 223. There we go. There it is, they're really cute. Definite astro yeah, astronomy earrings. Super duper sweet. They're a bit they're tarnished, but some people like that tarnished look. All right, I see Denise on those. All right, congrats, Denise. Congrats, 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 Denise. Um. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Cool. All right, next up. Let me come back. Wait for Matt. I lost my spot. Okay, Mary, I'm going back to the back side of the first page, if you're following along in that order. All right, so we're going back to some solo ear, um, jewelry. This is a Monet chain link bracelet. It's really nice. Gold tone. Oh, my cat's really making a funny noise over there. Um... <laughs> I put the person in a timeout, so we'll see. Maybe if they, if the person that you're talking about in the chat straightens up and flies right, maybe they can come back and, and hang out. But if not, all right. <laughs> so there's this really sweet bracelet. And again, this is a Monet. Nice brand, good brand right here. Chain link, gold tone. And this one I'm asking $8 for. And that is lot 67. <laughs> Sorry for that, y'all. 
I, yeah, multitasking. So there we go. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm trying not to say it out loud. Okay, so this is lot 67. And right after Mary, the first person that's saying 67 is Lynn. Where am I here? Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. I, 25. Okay, yay. Congratulations. Okay, the next item. Oh, these are sweet. These are super sweet. These are some little earrings. Where are my elephant lovers? Or if you know somebody who loves elephants, these are darling. Oh my goodness. Okay. So these are teeny little, they're not teeny teeny, but they're posts, you know, for me, because I wear bigger earrings compared to what I wear. So here are these sweet little kind of filigree swirly elephant earrings with the little blingy eyeball. Aren't they so cute? So they're not super tiny, but they're, you know, post earrings. I'm trying to get it where it's not too shiny on there. So you can see there's lots of swirls, nice little blingy eye. I don't remember there. I didn't even check. I didn't check for a maker's mark. No, no maker's mark on them. So these little elephant earrings I'm asking eight bucks for. They're so cute. They're so cute. Eight bucks. And these are lot 71. So lot 71. <laughs> Oh, did I miss one? Okay, yeah. I think that was, yeah. So I see Mary, and then the first person I see, hang on, let me put it back in the bag. First person I see after Mary is Carol. Congrats, congrats. Uh-oh, I misspelled it here. Oh, thank you. Okay, sweet, sweet. Okay, before I do the next lot, I wanted to, because we've got more friends watching now, um, over, if you're interested in, in doing a subscription lot with me, I've started doing jewelry subscription lots again. And these are going to be lots that are once a month and uh, are wearable, sellable pieces of jewelry. And I have it over on Patreon. I put it on Patreon because, hang on, let me reload it so you can see. Because that way, it, there's a, it's a good platform to organize all this stuff. And there's a, you know, just in case. I don't know. So I have it organized. You have it organized. And what it is, so these are, the, the star ones are just to join the channel if you didn't want to join through YouTube. But if you come down below that in this little pinky red button that says see all eight levels, if you click that, then you'll see that there's mystery jewelry subscription boxes. Oops, let me make this bigger. So if you're interested, then once a month, and it's almost time for October. So you, if you sign up now, you're, you'll be in time for the October box to go out. Uh, you can sign up to, yeah, depending on which size you want, to get uh, wearable, sellable jewelry once a month sent to your home to make you smiles and happies. Uh, what else was I going to say about that? I think that's it. Okay. So I have that going on. I do have it limited right now just to make sure that my, you know, capacity is good and that uh, I'm sending out quality stuff to everybody. Make sure I'm not bogged down where it's like, ah, oh, I don't have enough good stuff to send out. So I want to make sure like I can handle everybody who signs up that they get good stuff and then see if I can expand at that point. So it's limited right now, but we'll see how it goes. All right, hang on. Well, somebody already has that one. I know you're saying this, 59, but there's already somebody who bid on that one. So I can't do that. It's somebody else. Yeah, I wanted to do it through Patreon. I was going to set it up on my face. I mean, not my Facebook, but through my website. And I was like, you know what? If I do it through Patreon, they do take a percentage. But I think... The per, you know, people that sign up might feel more comfortable. It's a really organized platform, and you know, there's checks and balances, which I think are always good for everybody. Okay, yeah, 59 was already sold. Yeah, definitely. Okay, the next one, this one was a hard one for me to sell, but okay, uh, I'm gonna, 
pull it out. It's a double, I had, I have it in two baggies because I don't want the two strands to get tangled up. This is an Ann Taylor. It's super pretty. So there's the Ann Taylor. It still has the tag on. The tag was clipped, but it's still new with tags, with torn tag, uh, or clipped tag rather. And it's a double strand necklace, gold tone. It's long-ish. And one of the strands has got these really pretty teardrops. And then the second strand has got these little tiny, ah, you gotta see, they're little blings on the other side. So it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. It's feminine and blingy and pretty. I just, I just love it. Okay. So this one I'm asking, <clears throat> I'm asking $10 for, and this one is lot 73. So here we go. What do you need to do if you win an, uh, oh, if you, if you win one, then you will email me within 24 hours your name, address, so I can tell you how much it's gonna cost to ship, and then I'll send you an invoice, and then when you get the invoice, you have 24 hours to pay it, and then I send it to you. Okay, so this one is, I see Mary, double strand. The first person I see after Mary is gorgeous, right? I love it. It was, it was a hard one. <laughs> it's Carol. Okay, Carol. Karen. Okay, sweet. There we go. Let me put it back in the bag before I do the next one. Come on, get in there. There we go. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, the next one, I think we, we tried to decide the other day if this was a, I think this is a, a Dahlia. I think that's what we decided, right? Y'all help me figure this out. Did we decide this was a Dahlia? So here we've got this, we're gonna go ahead and call it a Dahlia <laughs> necklace. It's kind of got this deep purple, the petals are kind of blingy, purpley pink. What do you say, more purple than pink? And then little turquoisey beads for the center. And it's on a really long chain. There was a maker's mark that I didn't take the time to look up, which was probably unwise. <laughs> of me. Uh, I'm notorious for doing this apparently, but it's got an M. I'll keep going upside down. All right, so there's that. Probably Dahlia <laughs> necklace. And this one, it, I'm asking $8 and it is lot 79. So there's that. Doo -doo -doo. Modern Monet, Moonstone Mama says. Is that what that is, the, the M like that, Modern Monet? Well, cool, okay. I'll have to look up that one because that's not what I know. All right, so I'm waiting to see. Oh, it jumped. Okay, Dahlia Flower. So I see the first person after Mary was Bethany. Congratulations. Of course. Sweet. All right, does the chain come off? It does, it, it's hooked on, like so. It's hooked on, I mean, I guess you could take it off with, you know, cause it's got jump rings. So if you really wanted it off, you could take it off. All right, so there we go. <laughs> Maybe I underpriced it, I don't know. Okay, then the next item is a two-parter. It's a ring and a necklace. All right, so then it's turquoisey colored stuff, possible turquoise, probably not on the necklace. Okay, so the ring, you remember we talked about this one the other day, we weren't sure, but we think it's probably turquoise because of the, if it were how light, it would have been dyed and it would have been like totally dyed, but we can see other things in there. So it is a turquoise bead that has been wire wrapped the ring is adjustable in size, so if you wanted to adjust the size, you could. So there's the ring, and then this necklace has these turquoise colored beads, and, oops, wrong side, and then it's got this bison on it. So, and the, the beads are strung on chain, 
And there is the bead. So you can see that it's the turquoise is kind of painted over whatever on the barrel, but it's really pretty still. Okay, so we've got the necklace and the ring, the turquoise lot. And so I'm asking $15 for the pair of these. And so this is lot 83 for these two. Okay. B and Bark, are you asking, I think you're asking about a particular bracelet that sold to somebody already. So there's this. And this one is, I'm asking 15 bucks and it is lot 83. Hang on, I'm looking for Mary because we've got a lag in my chat. So there it goes, it jumped. <laughs> so there's Mary. And then the first person I see after Mary is Carol. Mary, Carol, congratulations. Okay, then, ah, sorry. I was trying to click off of it and it jumped on me. Got some more jewelry and then I've got some more lots to do too. Okay, we're, we're doing well. Okay, thank you all for being here. Um, yeah, I think the, yeah, the clamper bracelet that you're talking about, somebody's already bought. Um, I'm going to show, I'll show, I, I'm going to make sure, like, I think this is the one you mean, like that. But somebody already sent me an email to purchase it privately. So if you, yeah, if you ever see something in one of my haul videos that you're interested in, send me a message for sure. For sure. Okay, next. Oh, you're beautiful. You are so beautiful to me. This is a necklace. Oh my gosh, these nails. I can't look at them. Okay. <laughs> I don't have my loop handy. Oh darn. Hang on. I should have written it down, but I didn't. Uh, Ali Khan, New York. Oh, this is what I meant to look up. Okay, too late now, Margaret. You're going in. Well, <laughs> I feel like I should look it up now, but then I feel like I'm cheating. Um, so Ali Khan, New York. You might be getting a really good deal on this one. Because <laughs> I forgot to look at that. Uh, it's a super long necklace. And I feel like somebody even messaged me and said, Don't, you really need to look that one up. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, and it's got these really pretty AB crystal stones or faceted crystals on this really long necklace. It's got this these gold tone chains between. And this one... I'm asking $15 for, and it's lot 89. Oh, so it's a good one to like double up. If you wanted to double it over, it's super pretty. It's feminine. It's got these really pretty AB stones. And I'm kicking myself because I forgot to look it up. So hopefully. <laughs> so here we go. AB lot, Rebecca Poole. Got it. All right, and I'm not going to allow myself to look it up because then I'll be very upset if it's something that I'm like, uh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. All right, next. Oh, here we go. I have a little ladybug lot. I've got a ladybug ring and a ladybug charm. So first, I've got this ladybug ring. Looks like that. It is a stretch ring. There's a little bit of wear to the finish on the stretch ring, but the front looks really good. Cute little ladybug, three-dimensional. And then we've got a little ladybug charm, which is adorable. So you could put this on a bracelet or a whatever you want. Isn't it cute? And then a big, blingy, gorgeous ladybug ring. And so this, I'm asking 15 for those. And the lot is 97. There we go. Isn't it sweet though? It's so adorable. And it can fit, you know, that's pretty much any finger. All right, so I'm looking for Mary, Ladybug lot. Let's see. And is there a kid over there? Or 
Where's the cat? Maybe it's a cat. All right, I see Mary. I'm waiting to see. There's that. Cute little ladybug ring and charm. Somebody's yelling out there. Ah, resale therapy. Thank you. Resale therapy. <laughs> oh, you don't do stretch rings. Oh, it's a cute one, though. It's really, it's really a cute one. Okay, there's that. That in there. Oh, okay. Next up, these were really cool. These are another ones that I was like, hmm, maybe a catch and release, but so this, and I didn't even notice when I did the haul the other day that these had a brand on the back of them. So these are faux tortoiseshell earrings, and I didn't even notice that the brand was marked on the back, Zenzi, or yeah, Zen's I I Zenzi. All right. So these earrings, and they're they're lightweight, aren't they fun? Hmm. Mmm, these ones are nice. All right, so here we've got these tortoiseshell flower earrings. Brand is called Zen Z, I believe. And I'm asking eight bucks for these. And they are a lot 101. <laughs> oh, pan yeah, Pancake's a fluffer. He's so fluffy over there. All right, so here we go. We've got these tortoiseshell flower earrings. So cool. And eight bucks, lot 101. Very cool. All right, I see Anna. I'm going to say, I'm going to just say Anna because I'm afraid I'm going to say it wrong. Anna. Calcio. Okay. There we go. Next, and then we've got. Two more things, and then we'll do some more lots because I have some more lots to do. How come I count more lots? Oh, I have four more lots to do down here. Okay. <clears throat> so next, I have a Mark Jacobs necklace. This one's a really sweet one too. And, did I put both of these in there? That's weird. Okay. <laughs> so I've got this Mark Jacobs. So I'm gonna do these together. This is not a Marc Jacobs. That one is. Okay, I'm going to put these two. And then I'm going to do both of these necklaces together. How about that? This one is a J. Crew. Hi, Shug. I'm live. Are you okay? I'm almost done. Do you have a question? Huh? Okay. I love you. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so the first is this. Now it doesn't have a J Crew hang tag, but it definitely has the J Crew typical spring ring on it. But it's got these pennants and this little tassel, little sassy tassel on here. Hang on, let me get that straightened out. So that, that's what that one looks like. It's really delicate and dainty. So that's the first one. And I, I put both of these in there, but then I forgot when I labeled it. And then this is the Marc Jacobs. That's the wishbone that we were, we had the other day. So we've got the Marc Jacobs. And this, wait, this is the Marc Jacobs wishbone necklace, and then the pennant that's the J. Crew. And so I'm going to do 15 for the pair of these because I'm, I didn't realize I put them both into the same bag. But hey, it works out. So we've got the two necklaces now. So this is lot 103 for $15. So put them both in there. Let's see. Hang on, let me get a sip of water. I'm waiting for Mary's to pop up. All right, we've got the J. Crew and the Marc Jacobs necklaces for $15. Hang on, my chat's jumping. So here we go, a lot. So we've got Carol. Thank you. Okay, I've got one more solo jewelry. And then I've got some lots. And then we'll see how we're doing on time. If we want to do it, I have some extra stuff that I was like, maybe I'll pull it out. Okay, this is these are those pearls. They're faux pearls, but they're a nice, nice brand of faux pearls. These are Marvella. Uh, like costume pearls, Marvella. And it's got a hidden box clasp there. You can hear them. 
if you're into the sound of pearls. There we go. All right, so there's that, and it's long enough that you can slide it over your neck, like so. Yes, extra step, yay. All right, so we've got the pearls. And these Marvella pearls, pardon me, I'm asking 15 for, and this is lot 107. So I like the way, you know with some faux pearls, like you, they didn't even sound right. You know, these ones, these ones sound really good. All right, so these are the Marvella pearls, we'll tell you. And they're knotted between, they are, again, what did I say, lot 107. I'm waiting, my, my chat's been kind of buggy, so we'll see, it kind of just all jumps at once. Here we go. So there is Mary, and the first person I see after Mary is DJ, oh, I jumped, it jumped, DJ Live, okay. DJ Live, thank you. All right, so there's that. Awesome. All right, Mary's, what are we gonna do? Mary stepped away. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna do it a lot that we did before while she's gone and see if we have any. Uh oh, where did it go? I already saw that. I did that. I did that. Um, eh, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna do one of the lots. Meh. Okay, so next up uh, is a lot. This is 3.3 pounds. I need to throw a ring in there because I have my rings over here. Let's see. I'm gonna throw. That ring in there. Cool. Okay. And again, these lots are true mixed lots. So there is wearable, sellable stuff. There's stuff that may be missing stones. There might be beads down at the bottom. I try to spread it all out. And then, um, and again, I try to make sure if, if, the, if the earring had a mate, I tried to make sure the mate was in there. That's a bright green. That's that stretchy one. What are you doing on there? That's that stretchy one in there. What else is in there? You're back. Okay. So there's a ton, ton, ton of stuff in there. 3.3 pounds. Again, true mix a lot. So this is 20 bucks and it is lot 109. 109. Put this over here. Oh, and it's stitching. All right. Mary's back. Yay. Okay. They're really nice. The Marvella Pearls, right, DJ Live? All right, so lot 109, 20 bucks. And I'm looking for Mary in the chat. Oh, it jumped. So resell therapy is the first person I see. Therapy. There we go. Okay, next lot is this one. Lot. This one is 3.4 pounds. Let me throw a ring in there. Not this one. Throw that ring in there. Well, again, true lots, a mix of stuff. You grab a handful. Try to make sure if the earrings have, except for, I just dropped something. I'll get it. I'll get it. So there's a mix of stuff. What is this? Something fell in the crook of my arm. Oh, it was a piece of something. A bead. A bead. Okay, pulling out more. Okay, so this one again. This one is 20 bucks, and it is lot 113. So <laughs> you're doing great. Thank you. And I really appreciate this, you know, you guys. This, You know where your money's going. It's going to a single mom raising her kids so that is this one I see Mary I haven't seen Mary post this yet so I'm waiting to do the first person after Mary so there's Mary first person after Mary is I see Kimberly all right so Kimberly congratulations Kimberly. One, go. okay I've got two more lots, and then we'll see if we want to do any other other things. Where did it go? I'm on the right page. There it is. Okay. So next, er, I've got another 3.3 pound lot. I know, they're so fast. And again, 
True Mix, Mix O Stuff in there. That's pretty cool looking. That's a cool, what is that? Now I'm like, what is that? I'm just like, I was just making lots and, oh, that's a Monet. That's a Monet necklace in there. Just put it back, Margaret. Just, you're not shopping your own stuff. Throw a ring in. Things going in. Okay. I threw a ring in. <laughs> okay, there's part of that lot. Let me dig in deeper and pull out some more stuff. So you can kind of see uh, more things down in there. Anyway, three pounds, 3.3. And, um, uh oh, did somebody want something that I passed up already? Wait, what are you saying? Betsy Johnson was 43. Did I say this was 43? 3.3. This is lot 157, and it's 20 bucks. I'm super confused now, though. All right. Oh, Kimberly, you want the Betsy Johnson? Okay, I'll go put your name down. Sorry, I got mixed up. Okay, Kimberly, I'm going to write you down over there. This one is 20 bucks. Let me do this real fast. Kimberly. Okay, got it. All right, so, okay. Uh, where's Mary? So, this is lot G, uh, lot 157, 20 bucks. All right, let me see, where's Mary? Mary, and the first person after Mary, sorry, we got kind of sidetracked for a second, is S.E. Denny. Yay! S. Denny 66. All right, one more lot, and then we'll see what else we've got here. If we want to keep going for a sec, because I did bring some extra stuff just in case. Just in case. So, next, this is 3.1 pounds, and again, true mix. It's going to have some wearable, sellable, some loose stuff. Some maybe missing stones. It's just, I tried to, when I was making the lots, I was trying to like disperse things evenly so that every every lot had something, some good, some mixed, some beads, some a little bit. Um, okay, so this is 20 bucks. It is lot 163. And then... I'm going to wait for Mary. 20 bucks, lot 163. Oh, and I have a giveaway to do too. If you've been, if you paid attention, if you, not paid attention, if you were here earlier when I said uh, what we were doing. 163, wait for Mary. I'm waiting for Mary. And then I'll pick the first person after Mary. Looks like the first person after Mary is, ah, no, sorry, it jumped right when I was clicking it. First person after Mary was Kimberly. Kimberly. Okay. Like that. Okay. I know. Fast fingers. So here's the deal. I was gonna do a giveaway. What am I gonna give away? I have some other jewelry things we can do over here too. There were a few bits that I didn't sell, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so here was the question I asked earlier. Let me find what I'm going to give away. <laughs> One of these things. Okay, I'm going to give away this key necklace. How about that? So here's the, this is going to be the giveaway piece. This is a little sterling silver key necklace. Cutie pooty. Got the S hook closure on that. My, my question at the beginning was, there's going to be a pattern. Let me see. And somebody said it earlier, but I didn't have, uh, I wasn't doing the giveaway yet. So if you know what the pattern is, then I'm going to write down the giveaway. It'll be the first person I see that writes down what the, what the pattern is that they saw giveaway. Let's see. Uh, a lot were odd numbers, but that's not it. <laughs> 
because the first number I, I did was number two. So, okay, I think I see the first person that got it is Dawn Harris. They're all prime numbers, good. <laughs> so Dawn, when this is done, send me an email so I can get your address. So I can send you the key necklace. They were prime numbers. I can't remember who said it initially. <laughs> But somebody said it early on. <laughs> Ew, math. <laughs> okay, I promise next time if I do a giveaway, it won't be math. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to decide if I should. Let me do this one real quick because I knew somebody else wanted this one too, but maybe they went away and came back. Let me try this one real fast again. The other ones I'm going to hold off on because I can't find it now. Did somebody buy it? And I forget to put it, write it down. What number was this? No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. So this was the um, turquoise bead necklace that I was doing for $15. $15. It's been a while, right? <laughs> so 15 bucks. Ah, I dropped it on this gorgeous, gorgeous multi-strand turquoise seed bead necklace. It's beautiful. And what did I say again? 15 bucks. And this is lot 41. And once we get done with this, if you want, what time is it? I still have, I could do like 10 more minutes. I've got a few extra lots here that we could do. So 15 bucks, lot 41 on this one. The others, I think I'll hold off on putting back up. But I think this one had somebody else that wanted it too. So. Let's see. I'm looking. <laughs> so, wait, I'm waiting to see Mary, uh, Mary put, put, put it up. There we go. S.E. Denny. Yay. S.E. Denny. Okay. So, here we, here we go. I've got some other bits sorry mary i didn't put these down because i was like i don't know if i'm have time for all of it but we'll just we're not going in prime number order now i'll just do random ones oh thanks bridget <laughs> so this necklace this is pretty super duper pretty very feminine it's a long necklace gold tone and then it's got kind of stationed beads and pearls, aurora borealis, like crystals, little pearls, and then the base of it also has got those AB, look at them sparkle, they're so sparkly. All right, so this one, it, let's do a lot, you can keep up, okay, this one, we're going to do eight bucks, and it's going to be, since we were doing prime numbers, let's do not prime numbers. Let's do number one. <laughs> this will be lot one. One. Pearl. I didn't even write it down. That's eight dollars. There we go. Pearl. I better put pearl in AB because I had two pearl necklaces. Okay. So pearl AB, lot one. Ishara, congrats. All right, do you, I have some copper stuff over here. I had some lots of copper that I was going to do. I don't, I don't want to see. I think the other one sold. Yeah, it did. Okay, <clears throat> so the next lot I have are, they're copper earrings, copper and brass, and they're clip-on or screw-back. Are they all clip-on? They're all clip-on. Okay, so it's, ah, let's see how many pairs we've got. I think it's four pairs. So I've got these, they're really mid-century modern looking. They're super cool, copper earrings. Those are clip-on. Then I've got these clip-ons that are like copper and brassy colored. They're not technically copper. They're just copper colored. So there's those, that's the second pair. The others are like mid-century modern, big time looking. So there's those circle clip-ons and then the fourth pair look like that with the copper and the brass in the center. So that is going to be, let's see, two, three. So this will be four, uh, lot four. And let's let's do 10 bucks on those. 
again, I don't know. I didn't price them out before, so hopefully it's not. I don't know. So we'll do 10 bucks on the lot of four copper and copper colored earrings. Clip on. Clip on. Oh, thank you. Yes, hit that thumbs up button. So there's that. And looks like Carol is first on those. Congrats. Congrats. Then I have another copper e copper e lot. Let me show you what I got in here. I kind of mixed it up in this one. I have a few like copper mixed metal lots that I was like, I've had them sitting here and I was like, I, I think I did a haul for you all with them. Yeah, I did. Um, so this one has got earrings, a necklace, and a bracelet. Do I have a kiddo back there? Do I have a sneaker? I do have a sneaker. <laughs> How are you, sweetheart? You're okay? Okay. You're going to hang over there? Hmm? And just a, and a little bit, not too much longer. You okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So I've got earrings, a bracelet, and a necklace in this one. So the necklace, it's long, and it's got these little discs of silver tone, copper, and brass, like so. It's a long one. It's really pretty. Then the earrings are copper with these blue, it's like wire wrapped. Copper with these kind of, it's hard to tell on the camera because the light's not shining through them. They're kind of like a bluey purple color earrings. And then this super cool copper cuff. It does have a bit of wear on that part of it. As you can see, the front is still pretty, oh, there's a little bit of wear right there. Or is that something that can rub off? Let me see. Hmm, I can't tell. My nails aren't long enough. It feels like it's rubbing off, but I'm not 100%. All right, so there's that. So I've got these three items that, let's see, one, four, so this will be lot six. And let's, let's try 20 bucks on those. So there's three pieces there. Oh, I'm so glad it's cheering you up. <laughs> All right, so we got this awesome cuff, the very cool disc necklace, and the earrings. So that's lot number six for 20 bucks. All right. Let's see. Okay, I see Mary. Let me write it down. Uh, three piece copper lot <laughs> now I'm I, I'm moving away from the prime numbers because now I have to think I have to think of like what's the next prime number after 223 <laughs> I'm doing not prime numbers now okay so I don't see any takers yet at 20 bucks on this I'm gonna drop the price to 15 so that's that would be five bucks a piece Five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. So I'm dropping the price to 15 on those three pieces. And let's see if we can get this one sold. And I'm gonna wait just a second. We've got the really pretty copper wire wrap earrings. The super cool copper cuff. Mary Lucas says sold at 15. Oh, Mary. <laughs> All right. So let's see what I've got next. What to do, what to do, what to do, darlings. Okay, I have two pairs of earrings here. These are fun bling earrings. Hello, hello. Oh, wow, long time no see, Holland Hobbies. Oh my gosh, how are you? It's been like 10 million years. Good to see you. You're like an OG from a long time ago. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. All right, so I've got two pairs of earrings here in the next lot. They're so pretty. First ones are these gorgeous teardrops. Look at that. Oh, they're so pretty. Okay, so that's the first pair in that lot. And the second pair in the lot looks like this. Again, super blingy, super, super, super pretty. I'm going back to... Look at those compared to my silver earrings. Wow. 
They're so shiny, so shiny. Okay, so this is going to be lot number eight, and we're I'm going to ask 15 for the two pairs of that. So that's what, seven, about seven bucks a pair. Ah. All right, so there's those. So that's lot eight, 15, right? Great for Christmas and New Year's. All right, I'm waiting to see Mary pop up. Two pair, bling. 15 and I'm looking at okay, I see Mary I see ladybug insanity were you gonna ask about video games or no are you already done with quiet time silent reading okay let me know when you get done with that and then you can do video games okay cool no, we're gonna we're gonna do a big, a big bunch of cleaning tomorrow, so no big deal. Sorry, <laughs> aside, mom time. I had to mom for a second. Okay, was Mary announcing? I don't think so. Oh, I don't know, Mary. Were you were you buying it or were you announcing the price change? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well we'll talk about it later. I don't think so. As far as the yeah, let me know, Mary, if I misread that on the three pieces on the copper. Were you saying you wanted it, Mary? Or were you saying you were just announcing the price change? <laughs> I didn't even think of it that way. Okay. Okay, so next, how are we doing on time? Looking at the time. The next lot is two pairs of earrings. They're very similar. One of them is copper beaded. Oh, you were announcing it. Okay, well, cool. Then I'll pull it back out and see if somebody else wants it. Sorry, I misunderstood. I misunderstood, Mary. Okay, that's no big deal. No biggie. All right, next up, I've got these two pairs of earrings. This one, these are beaded with copper colored beads. And then this one, they're more kind of like gray. Did Char want it? Oh, yeah, let me know if you wanted, if somebody was like, ah, I wanted that with the copper the three piece copper lot. Okay, so then there's these that are kind of like the gray gunmetal silver color, and then these that are the copper ones. So they're very similar. Well, they're alike except for the color. So those two are going to be lot number 10. And let's do eight bucks on those. How about that? <laughs> two pair. Poop. Okay, 10 bucks on those. All right, so there we go. Oh, thanks, Holland Hobbies. And now, like, I, I know I knew your name, but now I can't think of what it was. <laughs> I feel bad about that. Two pair, round, copper, silver, earrings, lot 10, eight bucks. And there we go. Put those in there. I'm waiting for the, oh, there's Mary. Okay. And waiting to see. Because you got into politics for a little while, right? If I'm not remembering. Matt, that's right. Because you, you started doing some political stuff. and Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Unless I'm mixing you up with somebody else. But I don't think so. All right. So two pairs of that. Okay. All right. I see. Oh, you were clarifying. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so things are kind of slowing down. I don't know. This may just not be y'all's style of stuff, or my prices are crazy. And that's fine, too. Either way, I can maybe lock them all up if nobody wants to buy them solos, and I'll make, like, a lot with them. So the next one, Sassy Girl says six. Okay, Sassy Girl. Thank you. I got it. Okay. Next lot is a cuff bracelet and a cuff ring. So it is this brutalist style. If brutalist style is your thing or you want to get into selling it, it's got this really cool pebbled pattern and then this kind of like bursts and then this cool ring that's got mixed metal swirl on it. Like so, we've got a ring and a cuff. They're in really great shape. And this is going to be lot 12. And let's do 15 on those. 
I think that's pretty fair. Totes, totes fair. All right, so 15 on the cuff and the ring combo. So I'm looking to see Mary pop up, cuff, ring, brutalist, 15. I see Mary, and there's Carol. Blum. And I think on most of it, the price is, there's still room if you're wanting to make, like, make a profit. So, yeah. All right, so there's that. Congrats. Congrats. All right, next up is another cotton, like mixed co uh, copper and other metal cut. This one's really pretty. Okay, it's got this gorgeous copper, and then it's kind of like fabric wrapped with some bling. Oh, it's almost like Egyptian revival, but not quite because of the coloring and stuff. Or would you still call it Egyptian revival? Is it very cool? Oh yeah, totally, Ladybug Insanity. Mixed metal, brutalist. So this really nice necklace. Oh, see, I didn't even think about prices on these because I just kind of like had grabbed some extra stuff just in case we had extra time. So this necklace, can I put it on? I can try. Oh, this has a maker's mark too. This one's Freedom on that. There, like so. It doesn't look right with my necklace. It looks like that. Yeah, pretty. Uh, this, uh oh, hang on. This is why I don't clasp them because I end up yanking my hair. There we go. So this one, let's do 12 on that one. So this is going to be lot 14, number 14. And let's do 12. And it's a copper necklace. Let's running it down. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I'm looking for Mary first, and it looks like Cindy Shorter is first after Mary. Oh, get back in there. Careful, careful. There we go. All right, so it looks like Cindy Shorter. Oh, I need a drink of water. Oh, hi, Veggie Baker's here. Hi, Jen. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Okay, next is a three-parter. I feel like I should just if these if some of these don't end up selling, I'm gonna lot them together at the end and we'll, and we'll uh, sell them. How about that? Because I'm like I don't even know what what you like <laughs> or not. Uh, or I, yeah, I was lotting. This one's a sort sort of a random a random lot, but we've got this cool torque. It's got this hammered finish and I have a lot of three things here very cool this is the one like you can wear it on your head too like you'd be like enchantress right <laughs> and then I've got this super brutalist cuff which people love so if you wanted to get it and like flip it that would be awesome too so brutalist mixed metal cuff and then I was like okay let's put the turtle in there too we got this little turtle bookmark random uh, as I was going through this stuff, I was like, why, why not? I'll put it in there. Okay, so this is going to be lot number 15. All right. Lot 15. And let's do 15 on that. Because, like, I know I could, that bracelet, if I decided to sell it, I know I could sell it for a lot. A lot more than that. Uh, not that that matters. But, okay, so bookmark. Lot so 15 on that it's got that cool torque necklace super cool brutalist and the turtle bookmark and so there's Mary wow it really jumped first up we've got is Mary Fielder Mary Field. Fielder okay just make I'm saying it right make sure I'm saying it right thank you guys let's see what I've got over here I'm going to keep going with the copper. Okay, this was in that copper lot, too. This is kind of a box of random. If you remember the the lot that I did, it's got this one solo earring, which is cool. It could be made into a pendant. It's super awesome. I was bummed. It's got a teeny, teeny little cuff 
that I believe says, what does it say, Elena? Or I can't read it right now. Maybe you can read it. Uh, no, it's Celia. Celia? Celia. It's little. And then there's another bracelet that has these copper panels with some, ah, it dropped, little silver beads that can be pushed along the different color, copper panels. And it is a bracelet with an S hook, like so. Then there are a pair of earrings in here, which are super sweet too. These were almost catch and release because I like them a lot. It's like this copper tube. Yeah, those are really pretty. All right. And then it's got a wire wrap ring. It looks like, and we talked about it, like somebody was practicing their copper working stuff. Another little hook and then a stamped square that says believe with a little bit of like hammered edge on it. And then a, a little disc again, that one says Eliana. Maybe that's what's on that one. Maybe that's on there too. I don't know. Okay. So we've got this little box of copper, this and that's, and these are just to keep them from getting tarnished. Okay. So there's that little box of copper fun. And let's, oh, what's a good price for that? I should have thought this out beforehand. Okay. So this one, let's do 12 bucks on that. That might be too low. But we're going to go for it. I've already said it. Uh, so this will be number 16. And I'm going to call it the copper box. And we'll do 12 bucks on that. I think that's too low. But okay, too late. <laughs> so I'm waiting to see. Uh oh, did I miss up on? I was trying to go in order. I'm going whoever says it after Mary. Like the first person that says it after Mary. Because the last time I did it out of out of order and I got my hand slapped. <laughs> That's okay. I'm it's a learning. So here's that. I think somebody already got the nutcracker. Suzanne, Suzanne, let me see. If they don't, then I'll I'll let you know. Okay, so there is the copper box o fun. Twelve bucks. I mean, the earrings alone could sell for more than that. And then that little bracelet, for sure. Like if you wanted to resell stuff. Yeah. All right, so I'm waiting one second. Copper box jewelry, 12 bucks. All right. Okay, I'm gonna set it to the side. And then, how are we doing? Are y'all doing okay as far as this goes? Or should we stop? Are we done? How long has it been? It's been two hours. Maybe I should save the rest for later. I've got a couple things that didn't sell, so I'm going to put them all together. How about that? Won't that be fun? A couple of jewelry lots that didn't sell, so we'll put them together, and we'll do a lot that way. How about that? I feel like somebody claimed this one. Hang on. Where did I go? Yeah, I'm going to put the last bits together. Okay, somebody did claim that one. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I've got a few lots. Oh wait, here we go. I see sold lot 16 to Janet. Let me write that down. Janet. Janet. Look. Ma'am. Okay. Uh oh, I think 12 already sold. Okay. Thank you. All right, so I've got three lots here that didn't sell. So I'm going to put these three together. How about that? The first one was the two pairs of earrings here. The second was the pearl necklace and chains. And then the three, these three together, the three unsold lots. It's like the three brothers. How much do we want to do for the three of them? Okay. How about 15 bucks for these three? lots that didn't sell. So 15 bucks on those. I'm going to call it the unsold three. 15 bucks. 
All right, so if you want to get your hands on these treasures right here, the unsold three, 15 bucks. I'm waiting to see Mara pop up. All right, I'm waiting. There's a bit of a lag. Sorry, y'all. Then it like ends up jumping like a bunch of things all at once. It's just stuck. <laughs> all right, so we got the cool pearl and chain. Oh, pick a number. Okay, number 18. Sorry. Y'all hey, are waiting for Mary. The cool pearls and chain. The three bangles that are... <laughs> I was trying to get fancy with it. And then the two pairs of earrings. So 15 bucks for two pairs of earrings, three bracelets, and a necklace. <laughs> oh, Lynn, thank you. All right, right here. Pi 25. Okay, so there's those three. And <laughs> let's see. Oh, I mean, I do have a couple other lots, but I don't, I bet, I, oh, how many people do we have? Okay, I guess I could do them. <laughs> you guys came all this way. You came all this way. Okay, I've got a couple other copper. This has got two pairs of copper earrings, mixed metal. So that's copper and brass, 18K on surgical steel ear wire for those. And then these are really cool, like trees, and they've got this really cool autumn, almost like Bernie look. It's really cool. So both of these copper earrings, let's do 10 bucks for both of those. And lot 20, lot 20. <laughs> Two pair copper earrings, 10 bucks. <laughs> Writing it down. Again, I didn't, uh, I wasn't sure. So lot 20, I'm gonna wait for Mary. There's Mary. And looking for the first person after Mary and I see is Shara. Okay. Then I've got another pair. These are really cool too. These were ones I was like, do I catch and release these? I've got three more lots after this. Three more item things. Okay. <sighs> I really like these. <laughs> so these are copper and they're like carved down. Looks like brass underneath. These cool discs. They kind of blend in with my hair. That's the only problem I think. Otherwise I would totally, because when I put them on, because my hair is like copper top. All right, so these copper disc earrings, I wanna do 10 bucks on these, because they're super cool. All right, so those are gonna be lot 21, number 21, copper disc earrings, and I'm gonna do 10 bucks on those, because they're super awesome. They're super awesome, defs. All right, I'm gonna wait for Mary, let's see. And you can see the part that's has got like this design on the disc. It's super cool. I think it's awesome. All right, the chat is kind of lagging a little bit. Here's the backs. Ah, okay, there's Mary, lot 21. And the first person I see after Mary is Char, thank you. And then, if there's a there. Okay, the next thing I have is a ring. And this is one that we had from the other day. Let me grab my ring sizer so I can tell you what size it is. It is silver tone, but it's in really good shape. It doesn't, and it's that one that's got the giant, like, peridot looking stone. Look at that. It's got this huge, blingy peridot stone. It's silver tone metal, but as you can see, it's in really nice shape. And that's what it looks like on the side. Oh, those nails. As soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna go take that polish off. 
And this is a size seven ring. And I am gonna ask 15 for this because it's so pretty. Looks like that when you have it on. It's got that really cool peridot, you feel it? Yeah, it's probably glass or crystal of some sort. I didn't test it with my tester, but because it's in silver tone, not in silver, silver. This is lot 22. Peridot, 15. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, like so. And it is a size seven. Ah, oh, those nails. Here we go. So I see Mary. Okay, Carol's there. Thank you, Carol. Is that first? That book's all good. I know. Just uh, thank you. All right, two more lots after this. If you want, we can go back and look at the ones that didn't sell and see if anybody has come in that's like, I want that. All right, the next one is <clears throat> my drink. Hang on. My throat's a little dry. Yeah, they are. My nails are bothering me. It's in my mind. I was going to uh, clean them up before I came live, and then I, did, I didn't. All right, so this necklace, the... Oh, it has a hang tag, but no brand. Oh, that's okay. All right, so what we have here, oh, it's not a hang tag, it's just a charm. Is this really long, it's got these cool chain. Oh no, this is an H&M, there's the tag, H&M. Super duper 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 long. And then it's got this cool like metal tassel at the end. Oh, there's another tag over here, H&M, and it says, Oh, y'all, my eyes. I need to get some cheaters up here. Isabel Morant. So I don't know that brand. All right. So it's got this really cool tassel, super long chain. And this is going to be lot 24. And let's do eight bucks on this one. I don't know that brand. Isabel Morant. Do y'all know that one? Maybe I should have looked it up. <sighs> Again. Very sasa, very sasa. Okay, I'm looking for Mary first. Uh, metal tassel necklace. I didn't even have it written. Okay, and eight bucks. And lot twenty four. Where's Mary? Mary is there. And next, I see Ashara. Ashara. Okay, and then I've got one more. Oh, sorry, she's a designer. Okay. I don't have any more big lots, but I should have for, for next week. And then also, if you're interested, if you're just if you've just popped in, um, hang on. If you're interested, I did start doing the mystery lots or the like subscription box. I'm gonna start doing the subscription boxes, and October first is coming. So if you want to go over to my Patreon, I've got some different levels, and those will be wearable, sellable lots. Um, if you're interested, so that's cool. And and it's limited because I need to make sure I can send out good stuff. I don't want to run out of good stuff <laughs> for people. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm looking in the chat really fast. Oh, Isabel Morant is an incredible designer. Ah. Oh, sweet. Good, good deal then. Okay, then the next one, oh. Again, another one. I, I forgot to look up the stone. Where's my stone peeps? Oh, I'm a stone peep. Oh, I didn't look this one up. Okay, I'm going to look it up real fast. Hang on. Sorry, y'all. Because uh, I did somebody uh, on this one, too. Somebody was like, you better look that up. Okay, just in case. S-O-P-O. -O. Real fast. Just real fast. Because I don't want to be like really bad news on myself. Okay, okay, good. We're, I can I can sell it. <laughs> All right, so this next necklace again is gorgeous. It's got what we decided was adventuring, maybe Amazonite. It's got this gorgeous wire wrapping with some more green stone leaves. Here's the back of the stone. It is stone. You can see the natural nest. Okay, 
don't sell this. So this is the one, right? And then the back has got these gorgeous little dangles. The brand is Sogali, Sogali, S O G O. Like so. Oh, it's not ready. Oh, I'm so torn. Okay, I'm gonna do 18 on this one. So this is gonna be 25, a lot 25. Put it up here, lot 25. Sigoli necklace. I'm doing 15 on it, or 18 is what I said. 18, sorry, 18. Uh, oh, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. And Grandpa's Trading Co. is the first there. Grandpa's Trading Co. Oh, thank you. That was a hard one. You made it less painful. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, putting that in there. All right, let's take a peek at what didn't sell, and we'll see if anybody's interested before we sign off. Um, okay, so I have the volcano hat. This is a design that I made, and it is embroidered, and it's got the flaming, fiery volcano. It's totally unworn. Still has the cardboard inside. Uh, this was lot 211. I was asking 20 bucks, but I'll drop it down to 18. I'll do 18 on it. So if you've got somebody that you know that likes volcanoes, this one, lot 211, 18 bucks on it. Let me change it on my paper so I don't forget. 18. There we go. I see Mary has popped it up. I believe you. You guys are like, jewelry, please. Jewelry. <laughs> oh, we're... Are Nick and Andrea done, Lexi? <laughs> we need to have an endurance contest. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, and then the other, oh, the other thing was the mirror tray. The mirror tray, and like I said, if, if nobody goes for this. <laughs> so the mirror tray was up for 15. This is lot three. And it could, I mean, if you know how to clean it up, there's a little cleaning that could be done, or you could just totally refinish it. So this was lot three, mirror tray, 15 bucks. I'm going to set this to the side, and let's see, Mary. Some of my friends are popping out. Bye. Thanks for coming. You came. And then I think that was it, because I think everything else, because we ended up putting the last three into lots. Mirror tray. Oh, yeah, Connie wants that one. Okay, thanks, Connie. Okay, you guys, this was really great. Thanks for hanging out. and. I, I will do this again next week. I'll make sure I get some more lots because it seems like you guys are really into the lots. And I do have some more stuff that I can sort out into some good mixed lots. And again, you know, I'm, I am starting those. I mentioned this a couple times. Uh, the subscription boxes. I wanted to do it because I, one, I've been doing these subscription boxes to kind of cheer myself up during all of this. It's always nice to get some happy mail. And so I thought this would be fun to go ahead and do for, for our friends of the channel too. So that's awesome. Yeah, same time, I'm gonna to try to do Sunday at one. It seems to be a good time for, for everything. So thanks for hanging out everybody. And I will see you on the next one. Bye y'all. Thank you again.